The Nets. It went from the talking heads saying they should blow it up to now. Will they make it out of East? The Brooklyn Nets. Yes, the drama team are actually Lucas. looking scary and are a serious threat in the East. Ah, times have definitely changed. The Nets started the season off 1 and 5, still trying to find their rhythm. Then their head coach Steve Nash would be fired, and two days later, Kai was suspended for promoting an anti Semitic film. KD later also stated that the expectation should be low for the team just by looking at the starting lineup. All the odds were against their favor. Well, the Nets are now 22 and 12, the third best mark in the league. They've also gone on a 14 and 3 run with Kyrie. It just proves that whatever his beliefs or characteristics be of the court, Dude is still a monster and snatching ankles on the court. Since his return, he has averaged 28.3 points a ball game while also being a plus 6 in box plus minus department. Now don't be surprised, the most underrated piece of the Nets is itself Kevin Durant. Dude is in his mid 30s averaging 37 and 5 a ball game with ridiculous efficiency shooting 56.4% from mid, 92.5% from the line and sinking 37.3% beyond the arc. I think a lot of people take him for granted. The thing is, he's not even in the MVP conversation. Well now, this isn't the whole story of the Nets. The main reason why they are a major threat is due to their amazing contribution from their role players. Yuta Watanabe, who went undrafted in 2018, is averaging 54% from 3. Yes, 54%. He's the best shooter till date in the season. Another solid player who leads in the defensive end is Nick Claxton, who's averaging 2.3 blocks per game, which is second in the blocks leaderboard. We need to give huge props to Harris, who's getting his rhythm back. Huge shout out to Seth, TJ Warren, and Royce O'Neill. We forgot to say something, but the guy who's setting up this master plan is Jack Warren. The major difference we see in this team is the increase of confidence and the intensity they play with. Well though, something has changed since the hiring of Jack Vaughn. With Vaughn as the head coach, the Nets are an impressive 19-7. and 7. Jack Vaughn was a voice which was required in the Nets locker room, a powerful and a commanding voice to motivate the players. The one and only thing the Nets should mainly improve upon is giving a Draymond-like role to Ben Simmons. Another concern of the Nets is that they are really bad at rebounding. Well, the Nets are successful in fixing a toxic situation in Brooklyn. KD and Kyrie are one lethal duo and are surrounded with some of the finest role players. They are definitely a threat in the East.